Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as some of you guys might have noticed, I've been missing from the channel over the past couple of days. And the reason for that is because I went on a trip with my family that started on Monday and I just got back a few hours ago. And apparently, in that time, I've missed a ton of new stuff about the upcoming Worldwide Celebration, which, you know, kind of sucks. But at the same time, I was definitely enjoying myself, so I'm not that upset about it overall. But with that said, now that I am back, I want to make sure that I cover all of the uh, info that I missed from the data downloads to the V-Jump leak the in-game info and all that good stuff to make sure that all of you guys who follow my channel are uh, fully up to date. Okay, so yeah, with that said, why don't we jump right into it, starting with the V-Jump scan that you see right here, which came out, uh, I want to say about two days ago. And uh, the first thing I'll talk about is this new event in the bottom left here, which is the Gohan and Icarus event. And what this is, is uh, basically a replacement or a new version of the uh, launch treasure hunt event which allowed us to get a lot of dragon stones really easily right so that is basically what this event is and based on the translations it's going to be available once every seven days during the worldwide celebration and each time it's going to give out 30 dragon stones per clear and it's going to be a very quick event it's going to take you like 15 30 seconds to clear the stage so it's meant to be completed by everyone and since the worldwide celebrations usually last for about a month about four weeks i'm assuming we can complete this up to four times so if you do the math that's 30 stones times four weeks which is 120 stones right so a very easy source of stones right there from the gohan and icarus event and then on the right side here, we have a new free-to-play unit, which is this Gohan and uh, Goku that you see. And we don't have any details about what they do. I'm assuming they're going to be a uh, pretty standard like free-to-play unit, so not too impressive, but not bad either. And then in the top left corner here, they're talking about some kind of ticket banner, which will give you different uh, rewards based on... How many tickets you use so for 50 tickets you get one guaranteed lr along with three featured units and then for 40 tickets it's going to be two featured units and then for 30 tickets you get one featured unit guaranteed now i'm not exactly sure which banner they're referring to here it might be like a special banner that we haven't seen yet in the data downloads or it might be for maybe like the dual Dokkan Fest ticket banners, but once again, I'm not 100% sure, so I don't want to give you guys any false info. All I know right now is that there's going to be some kind of banner that gives you different guaranteed uh, units based on how many tickets you use from 30 to 50. Okay, so that was everything that we learned from the V-Jump leak from a few days ago. Now, let's pop over to the first data download from August 18th. Uh, as always, a massive, massive shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting this. He's getting close to 5,000 followers, so make sure to go follow him if you aren't doing so already. And scrolling down a little bit here, we have actually a lot of assets in this data download, but not all of it is related to the Worldwide Celebration. So first things first, we have the assets for the uh, Int Prime Battle Super Saiyan Vegeta, Extreme Z Awakening, there is the stage, along with the Extreme Z Awakening medal. And then we have the 13th Peton Battle, which is starting on August 22nd. There is the Series 6 and 7 pack, along with the countdown screens for the Worldwide Celebration, which started today. The uh, countdown to the celebration, not the actual celebration. So if you log into the game right now, you should be able to see this screen right here, the seven days until the Worldwide Celebration, the strongest in the universe campaign with the Frieza and uh, Goku. And then tomorrow we'll see the six days until the Worldwide Celebration, and then five days until the Worldwide Celebration, four days until the Worldwide Celebration, and then we have three days, 
two days, and of course, one day to go with the uh, cooler, of course, because he is one of the, you know, dual Dokkan Fest units, along with a Super Saiyan Goku. In case you guys weren't aware, this year's dual Dokkan Fest will be a cooler and uh, Goku, okay? So from there, we have some assets, some more assets for the Worldwide Celebration. This is the third Memorial Dragonstone. If you guys don't know what these are, basically, uh, every single year, at least for the past couple of years, we've been getting these Memorial Dragonstones, which can be exchanged for either units or for tickets. And these are the tickets you can exchange these Memorial Dragonstones for. And the number of Memorial Dragonstones you get is based on how many regular Dragonstones you spent over the past 12 months. And you will be getting one Memorial Dragonstone for every 50 regular stones that you spent. So for example, if you had spent a thousand stones uh, last year, then you would be getting 20 Memorial Dragonstones. If you spent 2,000, it's gonna be 40, 3,000, 60, and so on and so forth. Once again, the conversion is one stone for every 50 regular Dragonstones spent over the last year, okay? So uh, yeah, you can use these stones to exchange for these tickets, which can be spent on one of two different banners, which I'll show you guys in a second. And uh, we also have a uh, reduction in the stamina refresh time from five minutes to three minutes during the duration of the celebration. And that has already started, as you can see, start date August 19th and ends on October 3rd, which is when the worldwide celebration uh, would end. And then we have an update to the Guru's uh, guidance slash link level stage. Uh, apparently now you can get link levels increased at a much higher rate than before. Now, I don't know exactly what the rate was previous to the update, but now it's 19.5. And to me, that doesn't mean much. I'll be honest, all I know is that it's a much better right now than it was before. So that's definitely a good thing. And uh, we also have new scout missions. So there is a new Dokkan scout campaign where you're able to get up to 50 more Dragonstones, which is obviously great for the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest. And speaking of which, speaking of which, I'll quickly just uh, show you guys my QR code because Obviously, the more stones I have for the Dual Dokkan Fest, the more content I can make for you guys when those banners drop. So if you guys want to help me complete my scouting missions, then feel free to go ahead and uh, scan the code right now. If not, not a big deal. Doesn't really matter. But as far as the details for this campaign go, it should be identical to the first one. So there are some restrictions for who can actually do the scouting missions. But uh, if you guys have done the first wave, the first set of missions, then you should be familiar with this one as well. So there you have it guys. If you want to help me out, that's awesome. If not, not a big deal. Okay, so let me just take that away now. And let's move on to the next thing here. So like I said, in this data download, there was a lot of stuff and most of it was actually not related to the uh, worldwide celebration every once in a while what they like to do on global is that they just dump a bunch of non-translated assets which are going to be released in the future um, into the database and uh, you know obviously like the Jocko this like King Cold the Mecha Frieza and all this stuff are not translated now this Gohan this superhero Gohan uh, will be released very soon but his translations didn't come out until the data download that we got earlier today, okay? And from there we have like the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, which obviously are not coming out for a while, but they are in the database now. We also have uh, just various other characters, various other Awakening Medals, Extreme Z Awakening Medals for like the Golden Frieza, which is gonna be coming after the Worldwide Celebration, and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm not gonna go through everything because I don't think it's really important right now but just so you guys know we did get a bunch of uh you know future assets in the status download as well so there you have it and now let's pop over to the uh two ticket banners 
that we'll be getting for this year's Worldwide Celebration. This is the A banner, and this is the B banner. And between the two banners, we have essentially most of the Dokkan Festival exclusive units in the game. Obviously, with the exception of some of the newer ones, like the, um, you know, Raditz, for example. Although, I don't think anybody minds. But yeah, uh, each banner has about 40 or so featured units. And taking a look at the A banner first, some highlights would be the STR Super Vegeta, the Fizz GT Goku, the Int Broly is amazing. Um, of course, STR Cooler, who is likely, I think, to get an Extreme Sea Awakening at some point during the celebration. Not guaranteed, but I think there's a good chance. And uh, the Namek Goku as well might be an easy A candidate. And we also have the Tech Transforming Gohan. We have the Fizz Transforming Golden Frieza. Um, Fizz Broly hopefully gets an Extreme Sea Awakening soon. We'll see. And so on and so forth. This is definitely a great opportunity for newer players to pick up some of these uh, you know, older Tokon Fest units because most of them are not really featured in banners anymore and uh, they're much harder to get compared to some of the newer guys, right? So if you guys are missing a bunch of these guys, then uh, it's definitely a good chance for you to, you know, get them on these banners. So this is the A banner. Now popping over to the B banner, kind of the same deal. We have some uh, really good units at the top here, some newer units like the Int DT Vegeta, the STR Fidel, the uh, Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and so on and so forth. Hopefully this guy, the AGL Gogeta, gets an Extreme Z Awakening with the Broly sooner than later. But uh, we also have, you know, things like the Vegito Blue here, the Tech Vegito Blue, who is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening on Global with the uh, Future Saga celebration that's coming up. And uh, some of the older guys, like the Kid Buu, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, AGL Super Vegito, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, those are the ticket banners. Not any um, real surprises, aside from the fact that when I looked at the Global banner versus the JP banner, uh, to me, they were identical. I might have missed like one or two units that were different, but usually the JP banner is, you know, a bit better than the global banners. But for some reason this year, they seem to be identical. Once again, I could have missed something, but yeah, based on the comparison that I did, there aren't really any differences between the two versions, which is uh, pretty surprising, but definitely a positive for global players like me. Okay, so now let's jump over to this uh, Dokkan Now special announcement movie. So we are getting a Dokkan Now program this year, where we will most likely be getting the details as well as the animations for the dual Dokkan Fest units. And this video is gonna be dropping on August 28th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and of course, because they have the cooler on the uh, image here, they're not really trying to hide the fact that it is going to be a cooler movie celebration, although at this point, I think everyone knows, unless you're like super behind on the info and uh, somehow missed all the leaks that were out there, but yeah, we are getting the cooler, we are getting the Super Saiyan Goku, I'm super excited for the animations. So yeah, we'll be able to see all that on uh, August 27th, although there's a good chance that we actually get a data download before that. And uh, you know, people will be posting these animations on Twitter and stuff like that before the Dokkan Now video comes out. But I'm actually gonna try to like stay away from all leaks this time. I wanna be able to experience it like live um, with you guys when this video comes out. So we'll do like a live watch party kind of thing. Um, should be fun. So yeah, that is the Dokkan Now special. And now we have the second data download, which is technically not related to the Worldwide Celebration, but I want to cover it anyways, just because it's interesting, you know? So uh, this data download came out this morning and we got the assets, the translated assets for the free-to-play Teen Gohan, Teen Gohan from the superhero movie. 
he got this new Cell Max boss card for the new uh, super challenging event, I think is what they called it, on the producer's letter a few weeks ago. And we'll see his animations in a bit. They look really, really sick. And then we have the uh, new story event for the free to play Team Gohan. Here are the three stages for it. And here we have the stage for Cell Max himself. And here is the animation that plays when you start the event. So I'll just show you guys this one real quick. Uh, let me just turn up the volume a little bit. Come on, there we go. Enjoy, guys. So yeah, that looks insane. And if this is any indication of, uh, you know, what the upcoming superhero units will look like in the future, then I think uh, we're in good shape. You know, so that is just his intro animation. And then we also have his super attack animation, which we'll take a look at in a second. But before that, we have some scripted assets from this data download. There is the Cell Max. There is Magenta. We have a couple of backgrounds here. And then we have the movie collaboration ticket and also a bunch of uh, new missions. So that was the second data download from this morning. Now let's jump over to the Dokkan Wiki. So we can watch the animations, the new Dokkan Wiki, that is. So we can watch the animations, the Super Attack animation for the Cell Max. So, here we go. Now for some reason, there's no audio, which is a little bit unfortunate. But you guys can still see the actual animation itself. And like I said, man, it looks really, really good. And if this is what the, you know, raid boss, the non-summonable character looks like, then I'm assuming the summonable guys will look even better, right? So I'm definitely excited for that. So this is the Cell Max Super Attack animation. And uh, we also have some details about his um, raid event uh, missions. So basically there's three missions. You can get up to 15 Dragon Stones and a bunch of other rewards like some training items, training locations, uh, Hercule statues, and all that good stuff for clearing it three times, or rather clearing all three stages of the event, I guess. And that's going to be available starting tomorrow morning. And of course, you guys can expect a video on the channel for this event as well. So uh, from there, we have nothing else okay so yeah as far as i know based on my research over the past couple of hours this is everything that we learned so far the v jump leak the couple of data downloads um as far as in-game goes you know we got some details about the countdown celebration but there was nothing uh you know that we didn't cover in this video already oh actually before i forget there was some kind of like new animation that these uh data leakers or data miners were talking about um, but they didn't really give us too many details. Apparently, there's going to be maybe a new kind of summoning animation. Uh, kind of similar to like a fake out or something like that. But they were very vague about it. So I can't really talk too much since I don't have many details. But just to keep in the back of your mind, there might be some kind of new summoning animation. Which is always cool. So... We'll see about that. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's good to be back. Lots of content coming your way over the next couple of weeks. So get ready. Get ready. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.